old friend. Hello, me lads and lovelies. Captain Edward von Arkham here, coming to you from on board the MHS Hysteria. We are currently en route to 23rd century Ireland to see a man about a book. Allow me to elaborate. We have just returned from an expedition to Peru, our intent being to study the decline of the Inca Empire and the last ruler of the Incas, Tupac Amaru. However, I might have made a small miscalculation when setting the date on the Eternity Clock, inasmuch as instead of setting the date to 1570, at the decline of the Inca Empire, I set the date to 1470, during the height of the Inca Empire. In the grand magnitude of the chronosphere, 100 years is such an insignificant span. But in this instance, it was a large enough gap to fall through into a pit of venomous vipers and broken glass. Any which bloody way and how, we landed the hysteria behind the mountains, and Augustus and I set off to Machu Picchu, leaving oft and Lily to watch the ship. I must say there are few sights on this earth more majestic than the tremendous peak of Huayna Picchu overlooking the ancient mountain enclave. Such a shame that our sightseeing was cut short by an ambush of Inca warriors. Augustus and I were taken captive and brought before the chief who thought that we were invading Spaniards and subsequently sentenced us to be burned alive. And seeing as the Doctor and I had planned on observing the Inca civilization at its decline, we had not come armed with any weaponry. But we had come armed with this! Professor John Langdon Finnamore's Historical Solar Almanac. We never visit a warlike, sun-worshipping civilization without consulting it. And as we were being led to our imminent immolation, the doctor looked up the date and read that we had coincidentally arrived on the afternoon of a total solar eclipse, and sentenced to be burned to death five minutes before it. What are the odds? We were tied to a stone pillar, and a wood pyre was laid around us. And as they were about to light it, I made the proclamation that the Sun God would not tolerate our deaths. Of course, they didn't understand English, so I just sang Drunken Sailor, and then they all watched in shock and amazement as absolutely nothing happened. No eclipse. Not even a little one. But the Incas did seem to like my song. And then they set us on fire. Luckily enough, the foghorn on my hat was loud enough to signal Lily and Oft to bring the hysteria about and save our lightly roasted skins. Once back on board the ship, and upon closer inspection of the almanac, I have discovered that there is a total solar eclipse forecast on every page. So now we're off to pay Mr. Finnamore a visit about his book. Ah, well, that's our time for today. I'm going to go tie this book to this hammer. Until next time, stay mad, my duckies. My boots have melted.